hello guys welcome to the ninth part of this series so in this video we are going to uh, set up a edit contact uh, endpoint where we can uh, send the put request and we will be able to update the contact so I will create here a comment that is update contact and this is going to be a put request so I will write here slash edit slash and uh, let's suppose slash edit or let's write contact and this is going to be a required field as well and we'll have a request response similarly we'll have try catch and we are going to uh, get some of the fields like uh, ID from the request dot body that is ID from the request dot body or uh, let's for now write ID or uh, let's do const ID we will grab the ID from the request dot body and similarly we will check if this uh, if this is a valid ID or not so I'm going to copy this field, paste it here. So if there were no ID, and similarly we're also going to copy this field for the invalid ID error. And then uh, once we have this, we can simply use the update command. That is, we'll write a result is equal to update user. Sorry, contact dot update one or uh, let's find contact that is of id of id and we will check if this fails so if this uh, contact is not equal to the user id so we'll add a request to user id is not equal to this id then we can send back response of you can't edit other people contacts similarly if this gets passed then we can successfully manage to edit the contact so we'll write a result is equal to await contact dot update one and we're going to update on the basis of id that is this id and then we are simply uh, going to spread our body but before we do that uh, we have to first make this ID of undefined, right? Because we don't want our ID to be updated. So I'll write I const new or uh, let's say updated data is equal to, and we're going to spread this requested body with the ID of undefined, and we are simply going to pass it here updated data and if this case if it get get uh, resolved then we can simply send back response of 200 with json and with a result dot underscore talk and let's see if this works or not so we'll go to our postman and i am going to copy this or let's go to the fetch contact and if I hit here send so we are getting an error that is okay result has already been declared so we will write here user uh, sorry contact and I think it should work now so if we'll go here and send we can we are getting unauthorized so we need to i guess we need to first log in so i'll hit here send i'll copy this token we'll go to my contacts paste it here and if i hit here send 
as you can see we are creating uh, one contact as of now so I'll copy this and instead of making a uh, delete request I am going to make a new one that is localhost 8000 API slash contact and we will put here put request similarly we have to provide here our token so I'll replace this with this new one S sorry we need this so I will copy this first and I will paste this and we will go to our fetch contact result we will copy this again and in the headers we will provide here content type of application slash json and we will put our json data here so let's suppose uh, if i want to update the name of the contact like from deepak to let's suppose sojan karna and if i hit here send as you can see we are getting no id specified because we have to provide here our id as well so i'll go here and provide here our id that is this id so if i hit here send so we are getting result of ok but let's see if this uh, if this has amended our data or not so if i hit here send as you can see uh, we are successfully um, updating the data so this is being working so this is working i guess so if i write here result and if i here send again a request so we are getting result of acknowledged acknowledged to true so i think for the method uh, we need some new to true if i'm not wrong if I hit send ok so this is being working so if I hit here result so we want uh, our new data to be sent back in response right so if I hit here send so this is not working so let's see how we can get the new data date one updated document so here are some parameters like uh, let's see in stack overflow okay so we can use this as well find one and update so I will copy this find one I will write here find by ID and update and if I am not wrong this should return us a new find by ID and update Okay, so let's see this if this works or not. So if we'll go here and if we'll hit your send, as you can see, yes, we are getting the data. But if I'll uh, spread the document field and if I let send here, as you can see, we are getting the updated data. So if I amend this from uh, let's suppose money is current, and if I hit your send then we are getting the response but uh, after the to try so we have to provide here i guess new to true so if i hit here send 
and let's see if this works or not see if I let it send as you can see we are immediately getting the updated data so I can also uh, change the phone number so I let here phone let's suppose 9822015199 any random phone number so if I let it send as you can see we are getting uh, the updated document in return so we have successfully managed to edit we have successfully created a endpoint where we will be able to update our contact now in the next video we will be uh, integrating these all endpoints into our client side and we will be uh, designing some various pages where we will be able to handle these crowd operations right so i'll see you in the next video bye bye